What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? You know who it is, your boy b back again. Here on one twenty four twenty four New Day. So, if you all didn't know, well, I did. And there's a competition going on. If you go to Man Funny forward slash competitions, let me go ahead and bring this up on the screen here. Um, let's see if you guys can, oh, yep, you can't see it, so let's go ahead and get it back up here. So, Mint Funding. So what I recently did was I joined this competition, it's three days and 15 hours remaining. And right now, I'm up $405.25 for an evaluation. If you see here, I had a pretty big win on Monday or yeah, Monday night going into Tuesday. Decent. And then I had two losses that almost nullified that particular win. So we're going to look out for that, but we're going to keep trading and see where we go from here. So let's, uh, let's continue to do it. Let's get on to the analysis. All right, so Bitcoin, good old Bitcoin. Where we at with it? So let's, right now, we were taking, this was the trade on Monday that we ended up taking here. And these two yellow lines, what we actually captured, and this is the maximum it could have went. And then I started trying to short when it was coming back up to this line. So this is actually a lesson learned. When I go back and watch this video or for anybody who's looking at this now, when you have these botting out like this, and this is on the four hour time frame, you probably don't want to trade these bottoms. So when you start coming down here and you see these green dots, you should probably start expecting it to go back up and not trade the absolute bottom here like I did right even if you still see it coming up you might want to see it start to start rejecting and then start to curve around here on this market side for B so anyways without further ado we're now above the 8 EMA here on Bitcoin for hour let's go up to the daily and see where we're at yeah on the daily we're still here at this under below the ADMA, but we're seeing price action start to curve. So we might want to, again, on the four hour, we might want to just start looking for longs here. So what does that mean? That means, let's go ahead and remove this. We already have it in the books. So we're gonna start looking for longs here on the four hour this is above the ADMA means we go down to the five minute and we're gonna go ahead and put an alert and it looks like right now we actually had we're starting to curve back it's looking like it could be some type of bullish divergence so price action does something like that right or excuse me price action does something like this where this price comes down a little bit lower and this comes higher than this last wave, it will probably look good. But we already saw signs of it. So we have the ult open here on $40,190.88. And we're now below that open line. And we've already hit minus 60 on market side for B. This means that we could potentially take a long from here, but what I like to do with my particular trades is I like to look at these candlesticks. You know, you have these lows and then you have all these wicks down here. Well, I wanna see a nice body close above the this wick here or this bar, which is at approximately $40,070. So we wanna see a nice body close and then we'll look to buy stop that particular candle. We already had a wick close. 
which just looks very sloppy here. So we're going to go to daily or 15 minute. And on the 15 minute, it looks like we're below here. And what, the money flow is just so green here. It looks like, again, we could start seeing it start to turn, out, turn around here. So we're just going to go ahead and wait. It's one of those moments where we just go ahead and wait and see what happens. Let's go to gold. Now we're looking at gold. We're going to look at the four hour. Now, if you recall, at the beginning of the week, we wanted to see gold come down into this particular zone here. And on the daily, it looks like we're starting to go above the ADMA. But if we're looking here just for context, we're starting to see money leave the market. This money flow is starting to get lower and lower, closer to that zero line. So we could potentially still see something coming down, but this is where you probably would want to wait. In other words, we see this here, we see price just bludgeoned through this AD EMA, came back and it started to just wick up and down, a little doji effect. Half the body, in, or the body's in the center, right? Almost equal, equal arms on the sides, so yeah, we probably just wait here. Just go ahead and wait to see something that's a bit more clear. This looks like it wants to go up, but we see, yeah, it's just too conflicting across time frames right now. It just looks like it wants to move sideways. So we'll just stay out of gold. Let's look at the NASDAQ. Didn't take any trades here. We're gonna go ahead and remove that just so it's cleaner. Yeah, and we see we're starting to curve around on the daily. You see here, we're well above the 60. All right, highest we could go is potentially 100, but I mean, that didn't happen. That hasn't happened in a while. Now, if we look over here to the left, I just want to highlight something like this, right? Where on the daily, we have all of these peaks above this 60 line. Now, if we go and we look at what that looked like at that particular time frame, yeah, it just kept going up and up and up. And there really weren't very many entries here. You Maybe you thought, but you're wrong. Maybe you thought you're wrong. Thought again, wrong, thought. Now, what does this tell you about the NASDAQ that, I mean, it's just going up in perpetuity, ultimately. But when we saw red, it went red. So... I don't know if this would be considered a curve down. This is most certainly an uptrend on the daily. We go to the five minute. Oh, four hour. Yeah, four hour. We have this daily here. Maybe there's a way we can go ahead and put some text here. Let's just do this. Uh, we want the text in the center. All right, cool. And then we just make it a little bit bigger daily. All right, so what we do is we just save this template. And we just say daily. All right, cool. So now we're here. And price is currently at 17,568 points. We're in the four hour here. We're gonna go down to the one hour, or excuse me, the five minute. And green, green dots, just looking beautiful here, but no entries. We wanna see it come down to the 60. So really, I would stay out of this for now, unless we're looking to trade a different type of way. Maybe we go down to the one hour and see what's going on here. Yeah, we'll do this. Let's go for hour for labeling sake, right? Four hour, there we go. 
And then we go down to the, of course, the one hour and the one minute. We look and see if there's anything for us here. May not be, there may be. We're having a huge curve here. So, yeah. If this gets to the 60, this might be just a very, very small scalp. Let's go ahead and put an alert here. The only thing that's not lining up here is we see this one hour. And what we'd want to do is we want to see it close below. So that's the only thing that's not lining up here. But we'll see what happens when it gets to the 60 here on Market Cypher B. Right, let's go to our red chart really quickly. All right, we're at 11 minutes here. We will start to wrap this up. I was looking at some of these other potential plays here. We go to the daily on Apple. We're going up as we've seen here. We start moving down these time frames just a tad bit. Right here, we wanna see it come back down there. Markets quite open yet. So if we're on the daily, we're looking at the 15 minute here, right? And we see this is the actual open there. We want to see price dip below the 60 here. We haven't seen that just yet. So we'll just go ahead and wait. Let's go to Google. On the daily, we had an open at $147.70. We go down to the 15 minute and we didn't see price come back so now we're on to the next day so let's go ahead and remove that drawing and again let's put another line there go down to the 15 minute and look for the open which was right here at 147 dollars and 72 cents we want to see price come below that on the 15 minute before we look for taking trades just keep it very simple on these. Yes, so looking at Microsoft here. We're gonna go ahead and go back up to the next day, which looks like that candle hasn't opened yet, so we'll just wait. On Airbnb, similar thing. We didn't see anything that we could actually trade here. Go to Disney. Go back up to the daily. We had an open up here at the top and it came down. We want to see it come back before we're looking for those shorts. Go to 15 minute and we didn't see anything like that just yet. It hasn't came back to the open. It is coming close to the open, but not quite. It looks like we may not find a particular short here on Disney, but again, we can just wait and see what's going on with it. Now, this looks potentially interesting on NVIDIA. We have an up, but we want to see it come below $595.91, which, I mean, if you look here at the chart, it's definitely not coming close to that. So that's my analysis. We are waiting for a potential entry on Bitcoin. And that's pretty much it for the day. NASDAQ is looking like maybe, but we want to see it come further down and hit our alerts. And that's going to be it. Maybe maybe we get a play. Maybe we don't, y'all. Hope you learned something today. Leave a comment. Let me know what you learned. Get that flow-based note taking going on. Hit that like button. And, of course, subscribe. It's your boy, B-Phil. I'm out. Peace.